Hi, welcome back to Dive Gear Reviews. Today we're just taking a quick revisit to the Opticore Fast Helmet with the GoPro HD Hero 3 Black Edition attached. Okay, just taking a slightly closer look, as you can see, I've now attached the helmet, uh, attached the camera to the front of the helmet. Um, I've done that with a combination of uh, glue and tape to the MVG mount that goes straight into the mold that's on the uh, on the helmet itself. Uh, so it's quite snug; it's not going anywhere now. The, uh, the camera is performing excellently and you can adjust this small lever to allow any point of view, any angle um, to depend on which direction you're looking. Um, I just like to keep it in one fixed direction about about so, so it captures mostly uh, mostly the same angles and what, what I'm looking at throughout the dive um, and just leave it as that. All you do is press the, press the one button and, you, and you're good to go. I'll just take, uh, just remove the camera a moment and I'll show you how, how uh, attach the mount a little closer. Okay, it's both a combination of tape and I've glued all down the seams. I did have to uh, use a drill to change uh, just to augment the mold a little bit that's attached to the uh, attach the helmet because the mount doesn't fit quite so snugly because the replica is just not that good. Okay, I've still got the Picatinny rail on the side. Um, that's uh, that's there attached nice and snug. I've drilled and, uh, and screwed that in. Uh, for a torch in the future. Now to counteract the uh, the negative, uh, sorry, the positive buoyancy of the helmet is uh, is still slightly slightly positive. Um, so what you have to do is attach some sort of weight, um, especially if you're going to take it into the sea or that sort of thing. I've only taken it into fresh water so far, but seeing as it is still a little bit positively buoyant, I've attached this 500 gram or half kilo uh, black bright weight through to the reverse. Used uh, two cable ties and cinched them down pretty tight, but I've also used uh, a Velcro uh, a Velcro tab, um, sticky tab that uh, quite quite luckily uh, attaches well to the uh, the airsoft sort of insignia or reflector on the back uh, on the back of the helmet. So secured in two ways, the uh, the tab just stops any of that sort of lateral movement, and the uh, the cable the cable ties hold it uh, hold it secure in the event that that comes off. It doesn't interfere with the cinching down the helmet at all. You can still you can still adjust it, no problems, doesn't get in the way. I'll just re reverse that all the way. You still have the uh, still have this uh, rather large solid foam block at the front. Can't really do too much about that without getting too aggressive with the helmet. Okay, overall the system is working really, really well, and uh, the cost of the helmet, um, the cost of the whole system rather, uh, will probably set you back around 500 pounds. The results of producing it are absolutely brilliant. I've taken about 41 minutes of uh, of video in uh, four degree water so, so far, thus far. Um, however, I can't upload it to YouTube just yet because the quality is a little bit too good. Uh, the files are a little bit too much for my computer to handle, so I'll be using uh, using a different laptop for the, for a while and hopefully putting some of those videos up on YouTube for you to see before long. Uh, lighting is still an issue. I'm going to try and mount uh, mount. Uh, a little backup light, uh, something like a Hollis or a Halcyon Scout on the side, and see if that provides uh, a little bit better light for the uh, the video. I don't want to go too overboard with the lighting system because uh, it'll just be uh, extra weight on the head and, and make you a bit less manoeuvrable. But so far, the system's working really well. It's a little bit tight um, on the chin straps if you were in a, a dry suit hood, but other than that, it's uh, it's a good to go. About 500 pounds to set up the whole thing, plus um, plus the LCD backpack and spare batteries for the for the GoPro. So far, I've got about uh, one hour of video um, out of a single battery uh, thus far, uh, in fairly demanding conditions. So it could probably go a little bit more than that. Okay, hopefully, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Thanks.